a pumping station problem leading to more than 75 water main breaks in the city of Milwaukee. And good afternoon again, everyone. I'm Vince Vetrano. You're watching live at noon. We've been dealing with water main breaks since one of the city's pumping stations had to shut down. The tally now up to 76 and about $10,000 a pop to fix. Most taxpayers would certainly like to see this resolved sooner rather than later. Yona Gavino has a progress report. This water pumping station is still shut down because of a leak. You can see the big hole that the excavator keeps digging. About 16 by 24 feet. Crews are digging there to try to get down to that leaky pipe below. Crews have been scrambling to fix the domino effect of break after break. It's become a common sight since Saturday. Gushing rivers and even cracked pavements. The problem started after one of two of the city's water pumping stations was shut down because of a leak. With just one plant left to pump water to nearly one million people, the system overloaded, leading to over 75 water main breaks since Saturday. The scale of uh, and the number of water main breaks had exceeded what we had expected. Officials expected to see some water main breaks from the changing pressure. They just didn't think it'd be this many. We are seeing a higher number than usual. Out at the Texas pumping station, heavy equipment dug a bigger hole so crews could get to the leaky pipe about eight feet below the ground. The main that pumps water to our plant is not very deep. It's about eight to ten feet deep. So by our standard, that's very accessible pipe. The good news? The DPW commissioner thinks they'll be able to fix the problem in less than two weeks. We think it will be done sooner, but uh, just simply because we, we just identified the problem yesterday and it turned out to be at a level at the Texas Avenue level, so it's much more accessible. No word yet on how soon it'll take for crews to start work on the pipe. In Milwaukee, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4.